Thank you, Dr. Baker. Uh, so it's a pleasure to be here. This uh, analysis is a result of um, uh, a project by our Sustained Training and Aging and HIV Research uh, Training Cohort. So uh, I'm lucky enough to lead a training program in this at uh, UCSD with uh, uh, Aaron Sunderman and, and David Moore. And uh, your trainees can stay at your, uh, at your institution and we just provide them additional resources and training. So uh, commercial completed. Uh, these are my disclosures. Um, and so um, uh, the idea that dalutegravir uh, causes uh, or is associated with depressive symptoms of, is, of course, not new. The early report came from the Netherlands and just over 500 people and uh, was a real world uh, analysis in which uh, in a clinic, uh, in two clinics, the uh, investigators analyzed the influence of dalutegravir on, on discontinuation and found, uh, found that people who were taking it discontinued uh, more frequently than had been seen in clinical trials, and that uh, disproportionately they were seeing neuropsychiatric adverse events. And so uh, in Germany, uh, they did a similar analysis. You can see the sample size is larger there. Uh, they expanded it to not only look at dalutegravir, to, but, but to look at other uh, uh, integrase strand transfer inhibitors. And they found, also found that dalutegravir seemed to be associated with earlier discontinuation. And they found evidence of interactions with, uh, with age, uh, older than 60, uh, sex, uh, women, and uh, concomitant uh, antiretroviral drugs, abacavir use. So this raised a lot of uh, concerns and interest in the field. And subsequent analyses uh, were reported. And as you can see, moving from left to right, the sample sizes uh, grew larger. Uh, the types of analyses uh, differed until on the right, uh, they, uh, the investigators went and looked at uh, data from randomized clinical trials, uh, registration trials. Um, and did not find any differences between dalutegravir and uh, psychiatric adverse events. So, um, so there's many reasons for this, and we performed this, uh, uh, these analyses because none of these studies used a uh, standardized measure of depressive symptoms, nor did they account for things like antidepressant use. And so we could do that in the charter cohort, and so we set out to do so. So the objective was to uh, determine the relationships between NSTEs, uh, aging, antidepressant use, and depressive symptoms. Uh, we were included 280 participants of the Charter Aging Project who were assessed between 2016 and 2020. All were taking ART, of course. All had plasma viral loads less than 200 copies per mil. We administered the Beck Depression Inventory 2, and it has four subscales. Uh, that we analyzed uh, and compared to the to the uh, to the uh, uh, risk factors you see there in a cross-sectional design. So this is just one visit. So that's an important limitation, and uh, we analyzed the data using AIC and other tools. So these are the characteristics of the cohort. Again, this is the Charter Aging Project. We brought people back 12 years after their initial assessment. Uh, they were designed, the project was designed to include people who uh, were a bit more uh, experienced. Um, and so the, uh, the average age of the total cohort you can see there was in their mid 50s. No difference between the, uh, the three groups of dalutegravir users, other NST users, and non-NST users. Um, you can see that the, uh, we, we uh, would have benefited from enrolling uh, more women, about a fifth were women, and so that affects the power of some of the uh, uh, interactions and, and uh, uh, effects of sex that we would look for. And then you can see, consistent with our other cohorts and others, that the, the lifetime history of major depressive disorder was high. 64% uh, uh, of the cohort, but did not differ between arms. Current major depressive disorder is also consistent with what we've seen, that not a lot of people meet criteria for current major depressive disorder. But despite that, uh, about a third of people were using antidepressants. And so we know that these are used for depression. People may not meet criteria for current major depressive disorder, but beyond, beyond them for depressive symptoms or they could use them for other things like um, uh, pain. So, and then you can see that the dalutegravir users uh, were more likely to, or at least trended toward being more likely to uh, have AIDS. 
Uh, I've listed several other things here. In the interest of time, I won't read through all of them, but you can see there are a few differences between the groups in um, uh, bo uh, body mass index, in hypertension, in uh, TAF use, in abacavir use, which is not surprising because the uh, uh, Bictegravir and uh, dalutegravir are co-formulated with uh, those drugs, and, uh, and duration of the current regimen. The people using integrase inhibitors have been on them for a mean of about two years, which is shorter than the people who are not on non instes which again is not surprising. So overall, we found differences uh, with having uh, Beck depression inventory two value greater than 13, which is consistent with at least mild depression. And you can see that the principal difference in all of these graphs were uh, between the um, uh, dalutegravir users and the other INSTE users. So um, uh, whether it was for the BDI 13 or for the two subscales, apathy and effective, and uh, uh, the cognitive and somatic subscales did not differ uh, between the arms. And I've listed uh, the other instes there. You can see that mostly it was l vitegravir consistent with uh, the, eight, the time of these assessments and less so Bictegravir. And as we know, we've shifted now to, uh, in, in the clinic, uh, to using more Bictegravir in uh, the US, uh, Canada, and, uh, and, uh, and uh, um, Europe. So, and then the non instes also, uh, uh, the most common non inste used was a Favarins, and so that might explain why uh, the dalutegravir users didn't uh, differ in depressive symptoms from the non inste users. So, this table just summarizes the multivariable regression. Uh, overall, uh, more depressive symptoms were associated with antidepressant use, uh, non black race, uh, female gender. Dalutegravir use and uh, age older than 60. We uh, uh, plan to uh, purposely investigate uh, several interactions uh, between dalutegravir and age uh, uh, and sex based on those prior findings. Uh, the interaction with sex was not statistically significant, but it was with, uh, with age older than 60. We also found uh, interactions with race and antidepressant use, and that's what these look like. I meant to say also in the prior uh, slide with the multivariable regression, those uh, interactions were on only had marginal statistical significance. They were selected by AIC, so they improved the fit of the model. If we look at just the apathy subscale, they do, uh, uh, the p-values do fall under 0 0.05 for whatever that's worth. So here you can see uh, just graphical representation of these uh, interactions. Uh, you can see that the people who are older than 60 and used dal 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 dalutegravir had more depressive symptoms than the other groups. Uh, in the people who uh, uh, had non-black race and used uh, dalutegravir had more de dep depressive symptoms than the other groups. And uh, when we compared it to antidepressant use, you can see that the people who used antidepressants both had more depressive symptoms than the other groups, and that the people who did not use an antidepressant but did use dalutegravir had as many depressive symptoms as people using an antidepressant. So we thought that that was uh, an interesting finding. So. Uh, Dalutegravir may increase depressive symptoms in people with HIV who are at least 60 years old, who are not using an antidepressant, or whose race is other than black. Conversely, dalutegravir is not associated with more depressive symptoms if you're younger, if you're uh, uh, taking an antidepressant, or uh, if you're a black person. So this uh, is the first study to use a standardized depression assessment and to identify an interaction with uh, antidepressant drugs. After I turned in the slides, I thought I should have added a point about the limitations as well. The limitations are that it's cross-sectional and that um, um, you know, some the groups were not entirely balanced for um, uh, some of the characteristics, although we attempted to account for those in, uh, in uh, uh, multivariable analyses. And, um, and uh, there are other problems too, so. Um, <laughs> everyone heard what Bo said about aging, right? So, uh, uh, so. all right, so uh, acknowledgements. Uh, thank you to everyone. Uh, I did, uh, I was editing these a bit more and I do just want to acknowledge uh, Bert Anderson who passed uh, had uh, unexpectedly uh, over the summer. So he's one of our, our former trainees and, an excellent neuro HIV investigator. So it, that was a huge loss to the field. So thank you very much.